What's going on my plant people? This is gonna be a quick video on what to do with your cilantro plants that has bolted or flowered in the summertime. Let's say your cilantro plants just keep flowering. What you're gonna do is you're gonna leave them alone. After the cilantro plant flowers, you're gonna get a little ball of a seed. So what I have here, I'm gonna show you. Ooh. What I have here is the cilantro plant that has dried all the way completely. Basically, you wanna let the plant completely go through its process. After it flowers, it's gonna get these little seeds on top. Now, you can't pull them then because they have to dry first. So you're going to let the plant go run its course, leave it alone, let it dry, and it's gonna look like this. Basically, the plant is going to die. But that is the time when you harvest the seeds. Now you can see on top of this that there is a bunch of little seed pods right on top. That is the coriander seed or cilantro seed, however you want to call it. Coriander seed is most known. Come on, give me mine. My dog just hijacked this. After your plants look like this, you're going to pull them all. Now after you pull them, what we're going to do is we're going to take the seeds off because this is what we're going to use to one, you can either cook with it or two, you can plant seeds all over again and then grow more cilantro afterwards. You're gonna need a large bucket, a large container to catch all the seeds that fall off. There's not much you have to do to it to get the seeds off. It's technically a dead plant already, so the seeds will come off very easily. And they're quite big enough where you can see them. So in this container, I am just going to kind of rub my hands on it a little bit and loosen up and let those seeds drop. Isn't that amazing how that goes? Just when you think a plant is dead, is it really? Because it's giving you life through seeds. It has a very earthy taste to it. It is really good for meats, beans also. Oh my gosh, I use this a lot in South American cooking. Now that you have them in the container here, you're still gonna have a bunch of sticks and twigs that we still further have to break down and remove. I'm making sure that I get the stems. You see that? Isn't that cool? When you're harvesting seeds from other vegetables like zucchini, watermelon, etc., where the seeds are inside of the fruit itself, that is a different drying process when it comes to the seeds. Being that we're doing this from herbs though, the seeds are outside, so they kind of dry naturally on themselves so long as you let the plant run its course, drying up and then dying. I'm not gonna front, this is a little tedious, and uh, you gotta have a little patience. And we all know that I'm not great on patience. However, patience does pay off. And now I'm gonna be collecting these seeds and I'm gonna be growing this later on in the fall time. Cause that is when these kind of herbs really shine, when it's cool weather. You have to straighten it out because you don't want the twigs, you don't want the branches in there. So, This should hopefully, for the most part, I mean, you're still gonna have to manually get through these twigs and stuff, which again is still tedious and laborious. Another option is, aside from harvesting the seeds, what you can do is leave the plant where it is. Shake off the seeds and let it drop in the soil because that's exactly what I did over here. Where I planted it, I dropped a lot of seeds right there. So when it is cool weather and it is optimal for these seeds to start growing and germinating, it's already in the ground. Now when you're done separating them and you want to store them, you can store them in a cool, dry place and they will last you a while. I hope you learned something about cilantro seeds. Just because the plant bolted or flowered early, that does not mean that you can't still get some seeds out of this. Don't forget to subscribe. I drop a video every week and that's in between. Also, you can check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Until the next time, peace and love.